he was wounded for the first time and awarded the Purple Heart. Mr. Miller was wounded a second time in January of 1970, a third time March of 1970, a fourth time on November 3rd, 1970, for a total of four Purple Hearts. In addition to being awarded four Purple Hearts, Mr. Miller earned the following medals, awards, and badges. The Paratrooper Badge, Ranger Tab, Combat Infantry Badge, Presidential Unit Citation, Republic of Vietnam Campaign Medal, Republic of Vietnam Gallantry Cross with a Bronze Star, Vietnam Service Medal with two Bronze Stars, Army Commendation Medal, and the Air Medal with Valor for completing 27 Airborne Hot Combat Assaults, and two of our nation's most honorable medals, the Bronze Star and the Silver Star. Ladies and gentlemen, there are no words that can express how deeply we appreciate, respect, and admire his service to our country. Won't you please join me in welcoming our honorary guest speaker, Army... Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak at Bradley University on this important day. Veterans Day is a time to reflect as a nation on the fundamental freedoms we possess as a society and the critical role that our military veterans have played in sustaining it. Our veterans have made the selfless decision to protect the rights and freedoms of not only the citizens of our great nation, but also those that find themselves at risk of losing these fundamental rights that all human beings are entitled to. Many of our veterans have endured extreme personal hardships and sacrifices in order to protect the lives of others. They served due to an unwavering dedication for the defense and protection of all, and have a firm understanding that every aspect of the freedoms we possess comes from those that serve and have served before them. I challenge you on this day to consider how differently our country might be if it were not for the sacrifices of our veterans. They are our nation's sons, daughters, parents, and grandparents that share the perspective that honor, courage, selflessness, dedication, sacrifice, and freedom are at the foundation of our very existence. In closing, I would like to share with you something that was written by an unknown author, but represents how veterans have served this country. It states, a veteran, whether active duty, retired, National Guard, or reserve, is someone who at one point in his life wrote a blank check made payable to the United States of America for an amount of up to and including their life. That is honor. And there are way too many people in this country who no longer understand it. Please take the time to thank those veterans that have served our freedom stem from their sacrifice. Thank you.